we're not showing wall-to-wall -wall video of that caravan itself because whatever you think about the people in it, there's no evidence they are, as the administration is suggesting, some kind of invading army infiltrated potentially by terrorists looming on the U.S. border. The idea that we are under threat from these poor, desperate people is just absurd. I mean, it is just the bottom of the barrel politics uh, that he's engaged in. Well, those dismissals come as new reports tonight that yet another caravan is forming, originating in Honduras. As for the government's response, yesterday's Washington Post reporting, there is a sinking feeling among the Department of Homeland Security officials that more caravans are yet to come and that they will only get larger. But to the left, this is nothing more than a scare tactic. Maybe Trump is even forming the caravans himself. Well, at least according to Morning Joe. This caravan... Hmm. that Donald Trump keeps talking about, that Fox News keeps talking about, that people on the right keep talking about as some last-ditch, desperate, sad, pathetic effort to, again, use white people, non-white people, to try to scare white people into voting for Republicans. It's over a 1,000 miles away. What? <laughs> wait, what? They're over a 1,000 miles away, and they... What? Wait. There's some babies. Wait, they may not be here until... December. Wait, hold on. What? Oh my God, that's so not funny. Joining us with her thoughts is Ann Coulter, author of the new book, Resistance is Feudal How the Trump Hating Left Lost Its Collective Mind. And uh, do you think the left here um, think that we just sh shouldn't be concerned at all about a massive caravan barreling toward the U.S. border? Do they think it's just a political hype job from the president or a combo? Um, well, they definitely want these caravans to keep coming. They've been coming a long time. That that attack on white people being, and that's what we're afraid of. Um, for one thing, this country is barely majority white anymore. Um, we're still a country, though, and all of the people in this country, again, barely majority white. I don't know how much longer they can keep up this taunting of, ooh, scared white people. Um, we're allowed to decide who comes in and who doesn't come in. Well, and the fact that CNN says, well, we're not covering it. We're, we're not, like, covering it wall to wall. Right. I, I, right. I, imag I, I, imagine, I imagine that's in part a political calculation by some <laughs> of the other networks, because I think most people see this, and including Hispanic Americans, African Americans, and they see, gosh, how is this fair when all these other people have to, you know, apply and spend money applying and do it the right way. I think it comes down just to basic sense of fairness, not that we're not compassionate. Right. And I mean, also fairness. I hear Trump saying this, you know, fairness to immigrants who do it the legal way, which is very difficult. But how about fairness to Americans? This illegal alien child molester um, is costing Utah taxpayers more than a million dollars for his cancer treatments, more than a million dollars. I'm sorry, that's money that should be going to an American care cancer patient. He's sitting in jail and getting full free cancer treatment. This obsession with um, not just the liberal media, but we really see it with the liberal media, with everything going on far, far, far away from us. We have troops all over the world. We have troops in Afghanistan, troops in Syria. We're not paying attention to what's happening right on our border. It's, it's as if France in the late 30s became obsessed with, with, a, with a war in Central America, and that's all we talk about. And no, no, we're not going to report on what's happening right next door in Germany. No one mentioned that. No, this is our problem, what's happening at the border. There's a reason that Americans, maybe maybe Trump and his administration don't understand why the chance during his spectacular, miraculous campaign was build the wall, but the people making that chant had a reason for it. And that's so we don't have to go through this fighting over a caravan every two months. And, you know, they slip through and, oh, well, what can we do? I mean, there's so many things the president can do besides build the wall himself. He is the commander in chief. We're building walls all over the world, just not to protect our country. Um, the military can't really do any do anything standing on our side of the border. What are they going to do? Sh shoot the invaders? No. Well, but they could no. invade. They could go in 10 yards into Mexico. We didn't ask for, for Iraq's approval to go in. We didn't ask for Afghanistan's approval to go in. 
this is actually no, other than um, um, you know sitting on oil. Most of these Middle Eastern countries, they're they're not going to kill Americans. Lots of Americans are being killed, killed in drunk driving accidents, um, killed uh, or, or molested, and not to mention sucking up all these benefits like yeah. a child molester in Utah. And none of the none of the media outlets who are bemoaning and emoting over the caravan, embedded reporters, do <clears throat> many stories about those who've been victimized by illegal uh, aliens in the United States who are criminals. And I want to play something for you. And I'm sorry to torch you on a Friday night, but John Kasich, <laughs> John Kasich was out there uh, this week. And he's just, of course, Mr. Never Trump. But he's outraged that people wouldn't respond in a more compassionate way here. Let's watch. It could easily have been all of us that we're in the caravan, that we're marching north trying to save our families and save our children. We've got to start putting ourselves in the shoes of other people. Let us reach out to those who have less and let's stop putting up walls around ourselves and not understanding the plight, the trouble and the problems of others. It is not right and the Lord doesn't want it. Well, the Lord didn't want him as the GOP nominee either. It's a shock, Anne, that he didn't win the nomination by putting yes. the concerns of other nations before, you know, the middle class, blue collar workers in the United States. Yes, that's just what I was thinking as you were playing that. Well, what a surprise. That guy didn't win. Um, look, Americans are very compassionate, but our compassion has worn thin. Um, this is like a con man or a gypsy, you know, appealing to us. Oh, the poor children. Um, we have our own poor people. This is... We need to protect our own country, our own citizens, which, sorry, Joe Scarborough, it, we're barely hanging on to majority white, so stop saying this is white against, against the, the brown throngs. That isn't what's going on. We, we have an obligation to our own citizens who have really given it the yeah, office of all backgrounds. way too I mean, long. I, these people who are obsessed with color, the most racially obsessed people in the United States are coming from the left today because we're fighting for yes. the American people of every background, every religion, every ethnicity. City, the American citizenry. And I want to play one quick thing for you. The truth sometimes slips out. A member of the <clears throat> invading horde, uh, as a friend of mine here likes to say, uh, <laughs> admitted we do have some undesirables in the crowd. Let's watch. Criminals is everywhere, okay? Uh, cr it's criminals in here. For, I mean, it is. Uh, <laughs> then he said, but most of them aren't criminals. But like, okay, at least he gave us that. I'll give him that. Yeah, I mean, of course there are criminals in this crew, but even if there were no criminals, there they are a mass of very, very poor people. What is a country other than the people who live in it? I mean, there are, there are what, 7 billion people in the world? I'm sure they'd all love to come to, and they keep taking polls in other countries. Lots of them would like to move to the greatest superpower in the world, the greatest country in the world, unless we give it away. Um, through immigration, yeah, well. with a massive welfare state. We have to draw the line someplace. So um, most Americans were saying, how about right now, about 20 years ago? We finally had a president who was saying, how about we put an end to it now? But he doesn't seem to be following through on it. I well, hope he he's got to. He's got to. He's, he said he's, he's going to close the border if necessary to uh, these migrants and obviously 800 troops, but they, you know, they're basically in a facilitator helping mode. Uh, but, Ann, it's always right. great to have, it's, it's always great to have Thank you on. You. And thanks, thanks so much.